So I'm thinning out the wall as well. So I kind of like how this is looking, it's sort of looking faceted, but um, I'm going to end up smoothing all that out. So what I'm looking at here are um, just ways to make it more symmetrical and even. Again, it's not about making it perfect. It's just about making it pleasing um, to the eye and to the hand um, and really taking your time to um, try to create natural symmetry. All right, so at this point, I uh, really like the shape of the outside, um, but it's still really thick, and I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it out even more from the inside. So just slowly working the wall thickness till it's down to about a quarter of an inch. And I'm doing this before I cut um, the inner part of the foot. Um, it's just providing a little bit more stability. All right, so from here, um, it's now quite a bit thinner than it was, quite a bit more refined. I'm going back to the foot, and I'm gonna start carving out the inner part of the foot. So again, I just start by drawing a line 
that indicates the inner part of the of the foot, a circle. And I just try to get it as centered as possible. Kind of mapping it out. So something like that. And now I'm going to scoop that out as well. And I want to just go really slow, just do a little bit at a time so that you don't accidentally carve through the bottom of your cup. So um, this is going to be one of the steps that take the longest, I think, because you really want to do a good job um, really refining the form and making sure that the walls of your cup are really even and pretty thin so that your cup doesn't feel um, heavy when you pick it up. So you don't want to leave a lot of extra clay at the bottom. You really want to um, make sure you remove all excess clay just like you would if you were throwing on the potter's wheel. You would remove all the excess clay um, by trimming. So the outside of the pot should mirror the shape that's on the inside of the pot. Alright, so I'll probably spend a bit more time refining that foot, um, but that's about what I want to see. And then um, I'm going to take that little rib, so you remember I found a spatula and I pulled the little end off. And now I'm, um, I can use a barely damp sponge to dampen the surface just a, a tiny bit. And then um, I'm going to use this little spatula to smooth out all these lines from um, cutting away this excess clay. So this will take a little bit of time also. So the goal for today, or for this week, is to refine your Kurinuki cup. So you're going to remove more of the clay so that you're left with something that's much thinner. should probably be about a quarter of an inch thick at the walls now. It should have some sort of a foot and the exterior should be um, more refined. So um, I'll probably spend uh, more time after this video uh, making it look um, a little better and less angular. So just more rounded on all the surfaces. Um, so that's this week.